For me, Harry Potter is one of the best book to movie franchises out there. Everything from the cast, the music, the clothes, the script, all work perfectly. Today we're doing another best and worst, starting from the bottom. So Juan's at the ready, because we're not going to agree on all these. This is a hard one for me to get to. It's the only one that I have a tough time watching. I think it's campy. It's the second and final film directed by Christopher Columbus, and it's also the second and last time we see Richard Harris as Dumbledore. It's definitely darker than the first, but it's much more unbelievable. Harry taking down a legendary basilisk was a bit too easy, and Dobby was borderline Jar Jar Binks. This was my first introduction to the world of Harry Potter. I wouldn't read the books until years later. Although it was very charming and exciting, it was also definitely geared for families and a younger audience. I still enjoy it immensely, but I prefer to go back and watch the later installments as they're even darker and more adult. Many people will put this much higher on their list, maybe even the top, and that's justified. Honestly, it is. The direction is masterful thanks to director Alfonso Cuaron, whose body of work also includes the amazing Children of Men and Gravity. The kids have grown way more into their characters, and the visuals are stunning. The problem for me is it's about 30 minutes too long, and the pacing is all over the place. Then there's the rule-breaking time-turner that certainly should have been a Deathly Hollow. Instead, it's put on Dumbledore's shelf somewhere and never mentioned again. I enjoy this movie maybe even more than I should, but there's no denying it's a mess. A lot happens from the prophecy being told to Dolores Umbridge taking over the school. That final showdown though between Dumbledore and He Who Shall Not Be Named was awesome. I, yeah, it could have been better, it could have been statue throwing cool like in the book, but what we got was still freaking fantastic. Old Dumble deaking and dodging, making little water balls, chucking bitch ass Harry back so he doesn't get hurt. Then it's followed up with Harry telling old Voldy to go flit with himself. From the initial escape scene gone awry to an extended road trip with our three friends, there is never a dull moment. Well, actually, there's plenty of dull moments, unless you're me and you just relish the whole thing. It was interesting watching our protagonists crumble under the pressure of seeking out horcruxes and turning on each other. I love seeing Umbridge take one to the face by Harry. That sounded bad, I hear that now. Uh, and the Nagini bait and switch towards the end was phenomenal. I know this will be lower on people's lists, but I can't get enough. I, I eat this up. Nom, 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 nom. David Yates, who directed the final four installments, I think nailed the tone perfectly here. It matches the book and everything is somber as shit. There's virtually no magic taking place at Hogwarts. The muted color palette reflects that. It's not the most interesting story by a long shot. It acts as more of a bridge to the final chapter, but it's done so well that I think it deserves a higher spot. That and it has some of my favorite scenes, like Harry and Malfoy going at it in the bathroom, Harry taking it to Malfoy's chest. I'm hearing it, I'm hearing it now again. Really need to work on my phrasing. That, then there's the cave. One of the final scenes where he's force feeding Dumbledore that crap he's got to drink. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh man, that's, that's good stuff. I mean, not the drink, but the scene. Seven books, eight movies, one being a cash grab, led to this final moment. Did it disappoint? Not for me. Could it have been better? Certainly. I don't think it ever would have fully hit everybody's expectations. <sighs> I don't know why I did that. <sighs> a couple of odd decisions like having Harry fight Voldemort solo instead of in front of their peers seem questionable. But a couple of missteps don't ruin the overall experience. It was an absolute blast to watch and grow up with these kids into young adults for over a decade and finally see them act out their final mission, take down he who shall not be named. This was the big game changer for me. Up until this point, it was still pretty family friendly magic. Even when things got darker and grimmer in Azkaban, the stakes were still pretty low and very much confusing for non-book readers, the eight of them out there.
Goblet had so much going for it, from the amazing Triwizard Tournament to the Mad-Eyed Moody subplot. After the hedge maze, all bets are off. This is the saddest, most emotional scene in any of the films. Not book, films. Cedric's death was brutal. Watching the final moments of his life where Harry's battling Voldemort alongside his ghost weird parent things, I don't know what they were, some sort of apparated shit, it doesn't matter. And then Cedric's body laying there in front of the entire school. His dad comes over, screams in pain. I still kind of choke up thinking about This and Lord of the Rings are the two book adaptations I go back and watch every single year and love it every time. You can tell that there was 100% put into these movies. There was a lot of heart and passion from the studios and everybody who worked on them. Let me know your thoughts on the Potter franchise in the comments and give me your list. Subscribe to Few Nation and please check me out on patreon.com slash Nation. Throw me a dollar or two. I have a lot of subscribers. It'd be nice if some of you joined me there. I have some sweet milestones so you can get more shows like TV feuds, game feuds, music feuds, a lot of feud stuff going on. But I need to hit those goals or it's just not worth my time, especially when YouTube pays absolutely jack shit. More than just reviews, this is movie feuds. Best and worst list, they're gonna change, but we can all agree Snape is the real hero of the movie franchise, right? I mean, stupid if you don't think that.